use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Okay, question number two. While you are a physical human being in this world, you, A, are still a being in a non-physical world, B, can create any experience, C, experience a limited knowledge appropriate for this incarnation, or D, all. Which is it? Man, that's an easy one. It's D. It's all of them. While you are a physical human being in this world, you are still a being in a non-physical world. Absolutely. Just in the same way as you create an avatar in the virtual world and you're still a human. The thing is, is while you're running your avatar in the virtual world, you are momentarily focused on the virtual world. You are sitting at the computer paying attention to everything having to do with the computer, and you are not, at that moment, focused on other things in your physical world. You are focused into the virtual world, and you are paying attention to your representation there and what's going on. The same is true in the non-physical world. You are a non-physical being. However, while there's lots of non-physical beings up there that aren't, at this time, physical, you are. So it's like you're sitting at a computer and you've created a physical being made of matter because that's what this world is made of. And you're momentarily, momentarily could be 80 years, 100 years, but for the time being, you're focused on what you're doing with your physical being, your physical avatar, your physical expression. So yes, you're still a non-physical being, but your attention is focused into the physical experience right now. And the when you get up from the computer and you stop playing with your avatar, you're no longer focused in that world, are you? In fact, you log off, what happens? Your avatar disappears, just like that. And it doesn't reappear again until you focus back in that world. Same thing here. If your non-physical being decided to stop focusing in on this experience, then you would die. It wouldn't be a bad thing. It's just that you're going to go do something else now. You're done playing for the time being in this playground for non-physical beings. So, but for the moment, as long as you're here, you can bet your being is focused on this expression. And as soon as you die, then you will no longer be focused here and you will have withdrawn from this experience. That's all. Just withdrawn. So A, are still a being in a non-physical world? Absolutely. B, can create any experience? Absolutely. You have the power, the God power, to create meaning. You can assign meaning to anything, any situation, any event, anything. And by assigning meaning, you create your experience because you elicit the result of the meaning. You just got to believe your meanings. But with time and practice, you will. Pretty soon you will know that the moment you speak the word, it is done. That's like God said. That's like they said about God. He spoke the word and it was so. He has no doubt. You have a little doubt. Maybe. You might be getting to where you don't have doubt now. But if you say, this situation is great, it immediately becomes great. But if you say, this situation is great, man, you really don't think so. Well, you influence it. You do. And you begin to see some possible good things. But you don't have the power that if you absolutely knew that whatever you say is and there'll come a time, if you practice, you will notice time and time again, you give something meaning, you get the result. You say, wow. You give it meaning, you get the result. And you say, wow, that stuff is really working. Give it a meaning, you get a result. 
wow, this is really working. And pretty soon, you have no doubt. So yes, you can create any experience. That's what your God power is for. Okay, see, experience a limited knowledge appropriate for this incarnation? Absolutely, and that makes perfect sense. Why would you want to become a physical human being and remember all of your past lives and all the things that go on in the non-physical world and in the universe and all that? You wouldn't have that real life experience that you're having right now. So you experience limited knowledge. That's immersion. That's what you want to do. You want to immerse in this experience and only know, only be aware of, what is important and what is relevant to this experience. So yes, while you are a physical human being in this world, you, A, are still a being in non-physical? Absolutely. B, can create an experience? Absolutely. C, experience a limited knowledge appropriate for this incarnation? Absolutely. So the answer to two is D, all. Absolutely. Okay, question number three. Using your God power, you can A, create or heal illness, B, age or not age, C, create your world, or D, all. That's an easy one. That's D. Your God power, you can create illness, or you can heal illness. With your God power, you give meaning. Meaning, you can create illness by thinking about cancer, or thinking about disease, or you can heal it by thinking about health, thinking you've taken a miracle drug, thinking that everything's working out for you. Just that simple. B, age or not age? Absolutely. If you think you're aging, and if you think aging is real, then guess what? It is. It's real for you. That's your reality. That's what you get to have. You think people age? They do. Everybody you know will be aging, because that's your world. That's your reality. That's your belief. Or not age? Absolutely. But the trick is to not think about age. Just say, hey, I'm a representation. I can express myself in any way I want to. And just because I have a birthday doesn't mean I'm old. I'm not old. I'm still young. I'm still vibrant. Keep recognizing that you're still vibrant. Keep recognizing you're still young. Keep knowing and remembering that your cells are replaced. Some of your cells are replaced every day. I think your skin cells are replaced every month. Every 30 days, you have completely new skin. Stomach cells, I think, are every seven days. Every seven days, you have a completely new stomach. Isn't that amazing? But everything in your body is replaced at least once within a year. Several things are replaced many, many times. C, create your world. Absolutely. your God power, That's what your God power does. Your God power creates your world. It creates meaning. Meaning creates the world. It is your world. Nobody else's. Everything that's in it, you put there by belief. It may be your subconscious beliefs. It may be the beliefs you were born with. Because remember, back in the section on beliefs, you got beliefs that you inherited. They were genetic that you were born with. That's your instincts. And then you have beliefs that you learn and all that. But you got beliefs. Everything that is your world is within your beliefs, period. Whatever is not within your beliefs, you don't know about. You know, people say all these amazing things, you know, people going without eating. Why? Why didn't I ever hear that before? People plunging swords through themselves and not dying. Why didn't I ever hear that? People reading with their eyes covered. Why didn't I hear about that? Seeing with their fingers. Why didn't? Because it's not your reality. Those things would have never, you would have never been aware of them because you created your world. And in your world, that didn't exist. You don't think that there's people that can levitate? There's people that... I remember talking to somebody one time that told me a story that when she was a little girl, she levitated. And it freaked her out. She couldn't believe what she had done. But she was never able to do it again. But let me tell you what. If your body is a representation and gravity is a creation, and it is, gravity's not real. That's a manifest. But remember back in Resonance? Back on frequency and resonance, we realized, we found out that all those forces, magnetism, nuclear, gravity, and all that, those are all manifested forces. They're created by virtue of matter. They don't exist themselves. They're created. They're not fixed. You think, you think that they're fixed? Man, if that stuff was fixed, then fire would burn you, and it wouldn't matter what you were thinking, it would burn you. 
fire would burn your clothes. It wouldn't matter what you were thinking. Nah, those are manifested forces. They have no power whatsoever. So levitating, that's easy if you know you can. If you know you can, you can. If you know you can, you can pop. Just like a transporter in Star Trek, you can like transport yourself to Italy or some other place around the world. You can go somewhere for vacation. You don't have to fly. You just flash out of existence here and flash into existence there. Why not? You're just represented. You can do that. So the answer to three is D, all. You're got with using your God power, you can create or heal illness, age or not age, and create your world. Options. Now activating the next video, play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.